Hey guys, we are back with another video. My name is Julian Albino. If this is your first time, be sure to go ahead and subscribe. Uh, but yeah, if you guys don't know, I am currently living in Kigali, Rwanda. Uh, I just moved here last week from Johannesburg, South Africa. And this is my second full week here in the city. Uh, the first week I was living in a hotel, which was cool. I love that lifestyle, but it's expensive. <laughs> so I need to find an apartment ASAP. But uh, yeah, before we get in it, you guys, my allergies are killing me. I hung out with my friend last night here in Kigali. Shout out to Chelsea. And we went to her house after uh, checking out this cool spot here in the city. And she has three cats and I'm allergic to cats. So I am going through it today. I've been sneezing and eyes just running all day. So just bear with me guys. But yeah, I need to find an apartment ASAP. So I'm a part of this Facebook group and I made a post about what I'm looking for as far as housing accommodations here in the city. And two agents reached out to me. I told them my budget was $850. I want something fully furnished and you know, preferably utilities all inclusive. And two agents reached out to me with two properties that I really, really like uh, from the pictures. So today we're gonna go look at those. The first one reminds me of the White House from the exterior of it. Um, they had it listed. The agent told me the price was 1000 per month, which I just thought was too much based on the other homes in the area. So I was able to negotiate the price down to 700 US dollars uh, with no security deposit and that's all inclusive, it, meaning it includes the electricity, the water and the Wi-Fi and of course the furniture. All right, you guys, let's take a look. Here we are. This is a, a fully furnished one bedroom slash studio apartment. Uh, here's the kitchen area. This is different. I've never seen the uh, like a stove or range like this before. And you lift that up and then you do your cooking there. And I guess that's like the gas line connected down there. Let's see how the water runs. Okay, okay. I love the floors in here. They're nice and shiny. I like the couch. And it includes the, um, the water, electricity, utilities are all included. And then this is the bedroom here. Let me open that door. And it has the uh, mosquito net. <laughs> so you can access the balcony from the bedroom and the living room, which is nice. And then this is the closet here. That's enough space for me. I don't have too many clothes. Okay, have a little desk there with a mirror, and that's me. And bathroom right here. Stand-in shower with a rainfall water shower head. I'm sorry. And then that's the mirror. I like the sink. It reminds me of like a pebble. So that's cute. So yeah, this is it. It's not too much to look at, but it's definitely enough space for me. I'm only gonna be here for one month. So I think this is perfect. Backyard area out here. And that's the balcony or patio. I wish it wasn't a ground floor unit. All right, thank you guys. The 
second property is a townhouse located here in Kigali and they had it listed for $1,400. But no, I'm like a master negotiator. So I got that price down to 825 US dollars per month. It has a two car garage, it's fully furnished uh, and it includes the water. Uh, with no security deposit and the electricity and the internet are separate. I don't know about this, you can just change it. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so this is a two bedroom. This is yeah, a two, two bedroom. Okay, wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, I like the furniture. That's the dining area there. Has a, a bar. Oh yes, this is definitely more my style. Kitchen area, love the floors. Kitchen is much bigger and brighter. Bathroom down here, it's like a half bath. You never use it. Look at that, you guys. Us to live in area. It's much brighter in here. Let's go upstairs. Let's start in the bathroom. This is the bathroom. Shower, pretty basic. Toilet and your sink. And then this is the bedroom here. It's huge. I wonder what that area over there is supposed to be for. And then this is the bed. I think that's a queen, king, I don't know. Nice size bed and closet area there. Let's see how deep it is. Let me back up. Closets there. That's definitely enough space for me. And I love that they all have balconies. Like what? That's so nice. Yeah, this is much nicer. Love this. Look at the view. Look at the view. That is beautiful. Okay. Let's go look at bedroom number two. Okay, it's the same size. <laughs> No, you're fine. Can you open the uh, curtains? Yeah. It also has a balcony. Similar view. Same view, actually. Oh, so this would be uh, considered the master because I see the, um, the bathroom, which is inside the bedroom. Okay, okay, has like a little walk in, a walk up to your tub. Oh, but it's no shower. Okay, hmm. Okay, so no shower in the master. Um, it's in the second floor bathroom, which is right outside this door. Yeah, right there. All right, so that's upstairs. Oh, it has motion sensor lights. I don't know if you guys saw that. Let's go back downstairs. A little peekaboo there. <laughs> Living area. Just love how bright it is. And this is the balcony and the entrance. So it's three balconies here, which is so cool. I love this. Yeah, this makes me so much, so much more excited. And 
that's the view of the kitchen. It's very modern, love that. All right, thank you guys for showing me this. So yeah, now you can see why I'm so confused on which property to choose. I need your help, guys. Um, I like house number one. I love the exterior of the house. It reminds me of the White House. <laughs> and the area is really, really nice. But the thing I don't like is it's kind of far from the main street. So if I wanted to like call a cab or one of the um, motorbike drivers, I would have to walk a pretty far distance just to get to the main road. So that's the con. But the second home, it is, it is kind of large and it's just me. I'm living by myself and then the price is a little more. There's things I like and dislike about both. So just let me know below in the comments which one I should choose. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I think I know which one I'm going to choose. Uh, if you do know, let me know. Uh, but yeah, I got to start packing because I am moving in tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and like it. Um, and let YouTube know to share the video to more people. And I appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.